Joined now by Banaj Elaney, and I know as the Fever looked to get a better defensive presence in the offseason, yeah. you were a big piece to that. How did you feel like you fit in and able to provide that aspect of your game to the Fever? Um, I think I was just able to come in and up the defensive intensity a bit, you know, just making sure that I was vocal all over the place, making sure that I'm helping my teammates, uh, just going out defending the best players. I know that it meant a lot to the franchise to get to have a player of your defensive cal uh, caliber, but also for you to have a franchise believe in you too, right? Yes, definitely. Um, you know, that's what it's about. You want to be somewhere that you want it, somewhere that believes in you and your capabilities, and so I'm happy to be here. To get the opportunity to start a majority of the season when you were coming off the bench, you were still playing in a mm -hmm. major role. To have that consistency throughout the year, did that provide something for you? Yeah, um, you know, it definitely gave me the confidence and myself as a player to, you know, come to a franchise and, you know, be able to start in majority of the games and even when I wasn't, you know, still have major minutes. It was it was really good and I hope to carry that into next season. Just that confidence and just get better. What was it like to watch this team grow? It seemingly from game one to thirty four changed more than maybe anybody in the league. Yeah, we saw the a lot of potential that we had early on. You know, we, we won our first few games and then we, we struggled a bit. But even with that, we were always right there. So we knew that we had what it what it took. We just had to put it together a, a bit sooner. But you know, we, we finished strong and so we hope to carry that, that same momentum into the next season. Even without a playoff experience, the momentum of closing a year out like you did, it feels like you guys are taking away something significant there. Yeah, you know, like I said, we, we know what we're capable of, so it's just a matter of having it last a bit longer in the games, you know, playing for 40 minutes, just doing everything that we can to secure a victory. What's the next step for you now the uh, WNBA season in 2019 is over? Um, a little bit of a break, take some time, um, get ready to set up my life for life after basketball. Okay. So I'll go home and do some daycare stuff because that's what I want to do when I finish. Just have a, um, a few of my own daycare centers because I love kids and my way of giving back to the community. Um, so that's it until I get ready to figure out where I'm going overseas. The ability to kind of think about your post career, I know hopefully you've got a long one yeah. still coming, but um, to have the foresight to want to be involved in that already, what, what's driven that for you? Well, I've always I've always known what I wanted to do, mm -hmm. even since I was a, a little girl. My aunt, she has daycare center, so I was always around. And, you know, coming up, I've just always loved kids. So just to be able to give them a, a strong foundation, a home away from home, you know, kind of what drives me. You mentioned hopefully having a, an overseas season as well. It, it almost seemed like that overseas season for you last year really sprung you forward. Did you sense that and what can you maybe gain in that stretch this year? Yeah, definitely. Um, just being able to play and work on your craft, it always gives you a bit of a boost. So just to take my break, go overseas, play, get some more confidence and, you know, work on my game to, to elevate it and come back to the team to help us go further. I think one of the top individual defenders, team defenders in the league this year. Congratulations Thank on you. what I think was a bit of a breakout season for you and best of luck in the offseason. Thank you.